Hi YouTube, Thinkfesting here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a small coin um, from our local uh, bullion store. Um, and uh, what we're looking at here is the current price of uh, Chinese gold panda, uh, 2016 8 gram gold panda. And the current price in this store is uh, 549. 545.56 and uh, roughly the melt value is uh, 450 so the uh, current premium for this coin is somewhere in the realm of about 21% um, looking at eBay if we were to purchase uh, the same coin um, you would have to pay uh, five hundred twenty-five point uh, nine nine dollars, um, and of course you need to pay for shipping. We know that already. Um, but what surprised me is that uh, there are additional charges for shipping and uh, import charges. And so, um, while the melt value is four hundred fifty dollars, um, the coin premium and the uh, NGC. Uh, premium let's put those together account for roughly about 16 percent and then you charged another 16 uh, percent roughly for uh, shipping and import charges and uh, so um, that's a particular concern for me as a uh, foreign coin collector uh, the the slabbing premium is okay not fantastic but okay but shipping and import charges uh, like this especially the import charges um, I think will um, hurt the overseas market and um, I think for for collectors who are a bit more uh, conscious uh, in terms of uh, computing these percentages um, I think that will um, might might cause them to back off a bit from um, collecting and using eBay or uh, as a purchasing platform for these um, slabbed coins so anyway um, while uh, going through a, uh, an auction um, I did uh, go through and find uh, this particular piece it's not a very big piece and uh, normally I would um, just pursue the um, either one ounce or the 30 gram uh, gold pandas um, but then the premiums for those and the import charges for those on eBay are also quite high and uh, the particular items that I saw uh, on the auction for one ounce uh, gold pandas that were MS70 um, they also uh, went off the charts in terms of premiums um, so all in all, I said um, I wasn't comfortable with uh, purchasing at those prices. So I ended up with this item. Um, so I ended up uh, paying a total of 530 uh, US dollars. And uh, that includes a buyer's premium of 20%. Um, the, melt, the current melt value is 450. So uh, the NGC slabbing and the coin premium put together is roughly around 6.67% and the uh, shipping and import charges are, are somewhere in the realm of 11.22% um, let's probably uh, put in um, your credit card charges of about 3% uh, conversion charges and, and so you'd probably end up uh, paying around 20-21% um, I ended up paying a premium of 21% for this slabbed coin, um, which I th it's not a fantastic value, but um, it's an okay value considering that if I had per I would have had to pay 21% also for buying a, a raw coin, um, and here I'm paying a 21% uh, all in, all in charges um, for a uh, slabbed version of that coin so I thought that was an okay uh, value and um, 
and that's why I decided to uh, purchase this coin and uh, just hold on to it at about 21% um, you know I would have wanted to put that percentage more in the realm of about um, 10% maybe but um, that's how it is you know um, previously um, what I would do um, because I was not comfortable paying an upfront $200 premium for graded um, MS-70 piece the uh, gold panda piece um, I'd actually end up uh, grading uh, several of them about six six pieces or something like that and ch um, send them and bring them personally to Hong Kong um, I mean, using that same two hundred dollars would probably get you an MS seventy. I mean, for six pandas, you'd probably get two of those in MS seventy, and uh, most of them in MS sixty nines. So at least for the same value of money, you'd end up um, with the MS seventies plus um, a couple of, of MS sixty nines. Um, which if you're rushing for money um, are not a bad uh, way to sell pandas to a bullion dealer it wouldn't matter really uh, at the same time keeping your options open for collectors so anyhow um, uh, that is the reason why I uh, chose uh, this particular coin and so I'll show you the the coin that I uh, purchased now. So here's the panda that I purchased. And I'm going to put it there. Zoom in a bit. So this is an 8 gram coin. And just as a bit of comparison, I'm going to put it beside a 1 tenth ounce coin. So that's the size difference. Of course, we can't see the thickness difference uh, in this video, but this is a sizing difference. And when my, I showed this to my wife, she was saying that this size is actually quite good um, for something like a pendant. And yeah, content is also not bad for a pendant but um, she was saying that this seemed to be a perfect size for a pendant not that I'd consider doing that to this piece given the premiums so beautiful coin there um, back is the same so you know, not exactly a fantastic bargain at a 21% premium, but uh, not bad considering um, it's inclusive of shipping and it's a certified coin, NGC MS70 certified coin. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. As always, I'd like to wish everyone continued prosperity and success, and I look forward to seeing you in the next few videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you. Bye.